Hey, howdy, y'all. Lieutenant Colonel Allen West here, the chairman of the Dallas County Republican Party. It's a beautiful day out here. You know, golfers are playing. But there's something that is happening, something that's going on that I think a lot of us need to pay attention to, especially those of us who are Republicans. Tomorrow is Juneteenth, the 19th of June, 2024. And I know some of you guys are already saying, hey, Colonel, you know, you're, you've sold out. You bought into it. You're drinking the Kool-Aid. You're talking about something we don't need to be talking about as Republicans. Not so fast, my friends, as Lee Corso would say on ESPN College Game Day. Because when you think about the history of the Republican Party, it is the history of Juneteenth. 1854, the Republican Party was established in Ripon, Wisconsin. They only had one issue, to end slavery, to abolish slavery. And in 1860, our very first Republican president won his election and will go into office. His name was Abraham Lincoln. Now, three years later, Abraham Lincoln would sign a document called the Emancipation Proclamation, which set all of the slaves free in Confederate states. There was just one little problem. They didn't have the internet back then, and some of the slaves out here in a place like Texas, they didn't know anything about it. So it came later in 1865, on June the 19th, that a Union general landed in Galveston Bay, Texas, with Union soldiers, colored Union soldiers, to let the slaves of Texas know that they were free. And that became known as Juneteenth. But the real issue to know about Juneteenth is that it was two years after that, on Independence Day of 1867, when 150 of those recently freed black men got together with 20 white men in Houston, Texas, and they created the Republican Party of Texas. See, those who fail to learn their history are doomed to repeat it. Those who fail to learn their history will allow other people to usurp your history and take it away from you. And that's exactly what we have allowed the Democrats to do. The Democrats who did not support the 13th Amendment, which ended slavery. The Democrats that did not support the 14th and 15th Amendments, which gave slaves citizenship and the rights and freedoms under the Constitution. And today, we as Republicans, we are fighting against the exact same party who stood for physical enslavement then, but now it's economic enslavement, which is why I found it so interesting that Joe Biden would once say, they're going to put y'all back in chains. The only people who ever put blacks in chains in the United States of America belong to the party of the jackass. And if we don't start standing up to the party of the jackass and understanding truth, then we're going to fall prey to their lies their deceptions, and all of the things that they make us believe that we are, that we aren't. The true party of systemic racism, the Democrat Party. The true party of Juneteenth and freedom from slavery, being it physical or economic, the Republican Party. So now, happy Juneteenth, courtesy of the Republican Party.